second grade, our first place winner is Max. Max, will you join us? Max's story is called Thunder, the Lost and Found Dog. Taking place in the forest of Alaska, Mark and his dog Thunder go for a walk. A nasty squirrel taunts Thunder, and because of his barking, both Mark and Thunder get chased by a bear. They get separated, cold and tired and hungry. Thunder searches for food. Adding to the problem is that Thunder gets his leg caught in a hidden trap. Limping to a small town, Thunder sees a bad guy and chases a robber away from Sally's house. Enjoy Sally takes Shelby. Thunder in, cares as for him, as it's and goes to find to help okay, find so Thunder's home. Mark and Thunder are reunited. Great detail in this book. Jeremy. Jeremy, will you join us? <laughs> Jeremy is also a repeat winner, having received an honorable mention in 2015. Jeremy's story is called Magi. It has occurred to Jeremy that on news and on TV, there are too many people fighting. He finds a time machine and goes back to travel to the 60s to attend a Beatles contest. A concert, I'm sorry. Beatles concert. He meets John Lennon, tells him about how people in the future are still arguing and fighting. So John teaches Jeremy some special songs. Returning to the present day when Jeremy plays these songs, he reminds people to be nice and to feel happy. I like an eight-year-old writing about world peace. Good for you. Jacoby writes about criminal justice and restoring the peace in a local community. On a peaceful Monday morning, a giant ape is spotted for causing trouble. So from Monkey to the rescue. With the assistance of Banana of Justice, Super Monkey restores the peace, propelling the giant ape into the Atlantic Ocean, never to be seen again. It's a happy ending to a tragic scene. Brantley and his family weren't able to join us tonight. Uh, great story, and I encourage you to do it online. Our third grade second place winner is Kira. Kira, will you join us? Kira is also a multi-year winner. She came in first in 2013 and was an honorable mention winner in 2015. Kira is very knowledgeable about wild wolves and writes a story about two kids, Tasha and Tate, who practiced holiday trying to sound like fly the wolves. Not easy for me to say. <laughs> the wolves haul back. The kids 
explore the woods and find a wolf pack. As they quietly leave the woods to return home, they discover that the wolves have followed them. The kids and the wolves howl together again. The kids go inside and the wolves return to the woods. And that's the end of the story. Our last story is by Edith. Edith, will you join us? Dedicating her story to her family, Edith writes poems about the five seasons in her life. She writes descriptive stories about winter, fall, spring, autumn, and of course, mud season. <laughs> mud season is my favorite. Nice job. Writing contest winners. And I'd like to thank Chuck Kaiser for doing a nice job. Are you ready to see, Bonnie? Yes, I am. Thank you. The Peacock Princess. As we're thanking people, I want to take a moment to thank my colleagues and volunteers who are.